<coughs> Good morning and welcome to today's class on chelating agents. Chelating, the word chelating is derived from chelios which means claw, like the claws of an eagle, binding tightly to heavy metals. Chelating agents are used in the treatment of heavy metal poison, heavy metals like copper, iron, manganese, cadmium, lead, etc. The mechanism of action is common for all chelating agents. The chelating agents possess two or more electronegative groups which bind to the positive cations of the heavy metals forming stable covalent bonds making the complex non-toxic, water soluble and easily excretable. This mechanism of action is common for all the chelating agents. Moving on to the types of chelating agents, based on the number of electronegative groups they have, they are broadly divided into bidentate and polydentate. Under the bidentate chelating agents, we have dimercaparol, also called British anti lewisite and derivatives are dimercaparol, namely dimercaparol sulfonate and dimercaparol succinic acid. Under the polydentate chelating agents, we have disodium EDTA, calcium disodium EDTA, D penicillamine, desferioxamine, and deferiprone. <coughs> of these, dimercaparol or British antilucite, D penicillamine, and desferioxamine. These are frequently asked in the university exam as short essays. Coming to the individual chelating agents, British antilucite or dimercaparol. The word dimercaparol means mercury capturing. Each molecule of dimercaparol captures two mercury ions, therefore the name dimercaparol. At room temperature, dimercaparol is a pungent smelling viscous liquid given intramuscularly. Dimercaparol has two sulfidyl groups with high affinity for the following heavy metals mercury, arsenic, gold, bismuth, nickel, copper, and lead. <coughs> a 2 is to 1 complex is more stable than a 1 is to 1 complex. What do we mean by a 2 is to 1 complex? It means two molecules of dimercaparol and one ion, heavy metal ion, is more stable than a stoichiometric 1 is to 1 complex. Very important point here is the metal BAL complex which is excreted in urine. If the urinary pH is acidic, it will dissociate releasing the free metal which can be reabsorbed into systemic circulation. This is prevented by making the urine alkaline. Extremely important and also a short answer question. Why is urine alkalinized during British anti lewisite therapy? British anti lewisite or dimercaparol is used in the treatment of poisoning with nickel, bismuth, gold, mercury, arsenic, along with calcium, sodium, EDTA in lead poisoning, in copper poisoning, along with D penicillamine, and in Wilson's disease. The adverse effects of dimercaparol include hypertension, that is, an increase in blood pressure, tachycardia, sweating paresthesias, headache and muscle cramps. A point to note here is dimercaparol is not used. I repeat, dimercaparol is not used in the treatment of iron and cadmium poisoning because the complexes are toxic. This again is a short answer question. d penicillamine is chemically dimethyl cysteine, that is sulfhydryl containing. It is a degradation product of penicillin. d penicillamine is administered orally and like we said, the common mechanism of action, they contain sulfhydryl or electronegative groups which bind to the positively charged heavy metal ions. d penicillamine is used in Wilson's disease, copper poisoning both acute and chronic, mercury poisoning, chronic lead poisoning, 
cysteine urea and cysteine stones and in severe, severe rheumatoid arthritis defenselamine is used as a disease modifying anti-rheumatoid drug. This again is a two mark or three mark question in the exams. Name three or name four disease modifying anti-rheumatoid drugs. Adverse effects of defenselamine include cutaneous and febrile reactions, skin rash, allergic skin reactions, hematological toxicity in the long run in the form of bone marrow depression. You notice this is defenselamine. The L isomer is not used because it causes optic neuritis. <coughs> Desferioxamine is a fungal product, ferioxamine from which iron has been removed becomes desferioxamine, that is ferioxamine without iron. One gram of desferioxamine binds to 85 milligrams of elemental iron. Desferioxamine is given intramuscularly. Desferioxamine is used in the treatment of acute iron poisoning transfusion cirrhosis in thalassemia patients. These are the two main uses of desferioxamine. The adverse drug reactions of desferioxamine include abdominal pain, histamine release. Histamine release can cause bronchospasm, allergic skin reactions, increased body temperature, fever, diarrhea, dysuria, that is pain during urination, these are some of the common adverse effects of desferioxamine. EDTA or chemically ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid chelates the following heavy metals by exchanging calcium. Calcium is present in EDTA. EDTA chelates lead, zinc, manganese, sorry that is magnesium, cadmium and copper. EDTA is given intravenously and not intramuscular because intramuscular injections are painful. EDTA used in the treatment of lead poisoning, zinc poisoning, iron poisoning and copper poisoning. <coughs> also magnesium poisoning. Adverse reactions of EDTA include dose related nephrotoxicity hypotension, muscle pain or myalgia, increased body temperature that is fever, fatigue. These are com some of the common adverse effects of EDT. Next, coming to deferiprone. This is an orally active iron chelator used in transfusion cirrhosis in thalassemia patients. Also used in acute iron poisoning and iron overload in patients with cirrhosis of the liver. Adverse effects of deferiprone include gastrointestinal upset, that is nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, joint pain or arthralgia, and blood dysplasias. Now, some of the commonly asked questions from this topic on chelating agents in the university exam and internal assessment include. For example, five mark questions, British anti-Louisite, EDTA, D-penicillamine and desferioxamine. So your answer should include the chemical name, the mechanism of action, the uses, the route of administration and adverse drug reactions. Short answer questions, that is two or three mark questions include name two chelating agents and their uses. Give reason, urine is alkalinized during dimethyl therapy. L-penicillamine is not used therapeutically. EDTA is not given intramuscular. Or British anti is not used in the treatment of cadmium and iron poisoning. Mention four uses for D-penicillamine. Thank you for your attention. Thank <laughs> you.